Giselle, do you ever feel like you don't have enough faith to see you by? Well, let's look in the Bible for an example that, um, that someone felt just the same way. Uh, Matthew 14, 22, uh, through, uh, 34, um, it's when Jesus walked on the water. It says, right away, Jesus made the disciples get into the boat. He had them go on ahead of him to the other side of the Sea of Galilee. Then he sent the crowd away. After he had sent them away, he went up to the mountainside himself to pray. Uh, when evening came, he was there alone. The boat had already was already a long way from land and was being pounded by the waves because the wind was blowing against it. Early in the morning, Jesus was out to went out to his disciples. He walked on the lake. They saw him walking on the lake, and they were terrified. It's a ghost! They cried. They cried out in fear. Right away, Jesus called out to them, Be brave, it's I, don't be afraid. Lord, is it you? Peter asked. If it is, tell me to come to you on the water. Come, Jesus said. So Peter got out of the boat. He walked on the water towards Jesus. But when Peter saw the wind, he was afraid. He began to sink. Lord, save me! Right away, Jesus reached out his hand and caught him. Your faith is so small, he said. Why did you doubt me? When they climbed into the boat, the wind died down. Then those in the boat worshipped Jesus. They said, you really are the Son of God. Uh, so we can learn from this story that you can trust God through the thick and thin, rough and easy, challenging and quick tasks. When the Lord called out to Peter uh, to come to him, Peter believed until he noticed how high the waves were getting and how loud the wind was. When we think of this classic, we wonder why didn't he just keep believing in the Lord. Uh, yet if you were in that place, would you sink right away? Um, and Jesus hadn't died yet, what would you think? Listening to the man who claimed to be the Son of God. Peter stayed on top of the water for just a little bit. Um, would you lend no faith and concentrate on the swirling water waiting to swallow you alive? Would you... Uh, now, so don't think now that it would be too hard to believe. That is exactly what Jesus talked to the disciples about right after they got into the boat. Why didn't you trust me? Jesus asked. We should let God show us that nothing is too hard. If you pray that something may happen to make you feel better and it doesn't happen, don't quit believing. God is constantly listening. We can relate this story to every day of life. If you lose your favorite sock or your parents' phone and you ask him how you can find it, you can. Um... I have personally learned this from experience. Uh, even if your great-grandmother is in the ICU, he can save her. But always ask for his will to follow through. Uh, having faith is the best source of healing, knowledge, and help. So I challenge each of you uh, to have faith in him. Don't make your commitment to believe in him just, after, just before the storm and then forget. Uh, that is the most important time to remember in the tough times. Uh, read the Bible, go to church, and pray. These will help your relationship and with him and strengthen, strengthen your faith in him. Uh, Peter believed he could have done um, many different things. Cartwheels, uh, he could have uh, danced um, on the water, he could have played on the water, um, and he, anything. He could have dined on the water. Um, but he didn't believe, and that's what really got him. Uh, if you believe, anything is possible. Um, so don't quit believing. Believe, 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 and that is one of the best things that I think you can, uh, have as, um, a human. Uh, so have a nice day.